Ayan na, makikita mo agad na it's like glowy as heck. Hello po! Ewan ko, gamit na gamit na kasi siya sa akin na nawala na yung label niya. Hey guys, it's Ikerlene and this is the channel where we pursue our best selves yet. Badoons! For today's video, I am showing you how to do this dewy makeup look for Morena Skin using products that I have yet to try. So if you want to know how I made this makeup look, keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. Okay, so my face is extra zoomed in right now so you can see what's really going on. I'm gonna be using, first to prep my skin, the Issy & Co Booster Serum. And I, I believe ito yung hydrating one. Basta this is the one that comes with the gold stuff. So I'm just gonna use this to prep para our skin is very much ready to absorb all the products, but also hydrated. It's so important that it's hydrated. Tapos, since I am going out, I still need to use sunblock. So this is the first time I'm trying the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. Sabi nila maganda daw siya. It also works as a primer. So tignan natin if it really is unseen. <laughs> Nakaseal pa siya. Okay, let's see. Sobrang dami ko lately na products that I've been trying because of TikTok. Oh, this is really nice. Look. It has a goopy <laughs> formula. It's not like white. It's actually transparent, I would say. Oh, and ang bilis niya mag spread. Oh, that really gives you that dewy skin. <gasps> I get it now. That's why they use this. Okay. At first application, medyo greasy siya, pero. Parang as it sets, medyo nagiging matte finish, but you don't really lose that shine, that dewiness. So to prime my face, I am going with the medyo tinatamad ako lately, so I use the Max Fix Plus to prime my face instead of like doing the whole primer thing. But since I had the Super Goop, did I say Super Goop a while ago? I said Super Goop a while ago. Anyway, so. I feel like my my face is just taking up your whole screen. I'm sorry. Na zoom ko na eh. I can't I can't unzoom anymore. <laughs> Tinatamad ako. And let me dry that out. Another product that I am trying for the first time is the Rare Beauty Illuminizer, something like that, illuminating primer. Okay, so magpo primer pa rin pala ako. Joke lang. <laughs> I didn't know this was a primer. I thought this was like just some extra step. Turns out it's a primer, and as far as I know, this is wala siyang shade talaga. Like it's good for everyone, so you use it under your foundation. So I'm gonna put that here, especially sa points of my face where I want to be illuminated. Oh, o di ba? Perlas ng silangan and realness. <laughs> Glowy ba gusto mo? Okay, perfect. Okay, isn't it funny how before we used to avoid shine and now everyone's like, let's get dewy. I will never understand how the world works, but okay. Next is, I'm gonna be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Long Wear Makeup Foundation. This is in the shade Bronze and I think it's a little dark on me on camera, but in real life, kasi, it, it suits me so much better. So I don't know if you guys were, are gonna be able to see it. Pero kasi, sa video, mas bagay sa akin yung ivory beige. Pero in real life, mas sakto siya sa skin color ko. Kasi, para mas maputi yung face ko than the rest of my body. So I really like going with the bronze just to even out my skin tone with like my arms, my legs, ganyan. So, anyway, this foundation is amazing because super long lasting niya, pero yung coverage niya is very sheer. Just see how the consistency is like a little droopy. And so let's start with that, Mona. 
I really like this foundation because it lasts long, but at the same time, it's not matte. So you really see na the shine, the dewiness is maintained. By the way, guys, I have a mirror. I <laughs> mirror na ako sa setup ko, so yun ako na hihirapan masyado mag, mag makeup. I don't know if you guys can see, but I even out yung skin tone ko just like that. But at the same time, hindi niya masyado kinover yung skin ko mismo. It still looks like skin. Okay, now that that's done, I am going to go ahead and use my concealer. Okay, so for my under eye concealer, I usually go with the Essie Co Active Concealer in the shade MW3. Honestly, I didn't really match the shade sa sarili ko. I kind of just picked up the one that I had and just went for it. So I'm gonna use that here, konte lang, and then here, dito rin, and then I'm just gonna blend that out. So unahin ko muna yung under eyes ko. And then, I'm gonna use the shade Umber from Get Ready With Me Cosmetics. This is the Radiant Tint. Radiance Tint. Okay, anyway, ilalagay ko siya dun sa aking mga... These parts of my face. I have, ano kasi, like very, very sheer skin to the point that I see my mga ugat ugat ko. So I'm gonna use that to conceal this area. Now for my uh, contour, okay, so to contour, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks in Amber. This is a cool tone, and what I learned from TikTok is cool toned um, contour sticks. They're really for like shaping your face. So if you want something that's really gonna highlight your cheekbones, ganyan, you go with something that will create shadow. So cool tone siya. Now the bronzer later on, we'll pull that out. Pero ito, iba blend ko muna. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but and nakaha kaharana shadows surface. There. Okay, now let's go to bronzer. Bronzer. This one, the one that I'm gonna use is Rare Beauty in Always Sunny. This is a bronzer stick. To be honest, when I got this, nasira siya. So I was like, medyo disappointed in the packaging ng Sephora. But, you know, buti na lang nag survive yung product. So I'm still happy either way. And I'm just gonna put it here, here. Siguro, sige, dito na rin. Kasi nakita ko sila Marge, ginagawa yun. So, I'm just gonna copy them. <laughs> For my blush, I'm gonna be trying out a new product. This is from Squad Cosmetics. I will use the shade Lava Cake. They came out with serum blushes. So, try natin siya gamitan. I'm gonna put it here sa aking back of my hand and then I'm gonna use a brush to diffuse that sa cheeks ko. Oh, that's pigmented! Okay, wait. But yeah, it's glowy for sure. Guys, it's pigmented pala. So, hindi nyo pwedeng basa-basa yan, no? Pero, itutuloy ko na dito sa my nose area, sa my forehead. Summer, summer girl realness. Kare, oh, I'm sunburnt. I went to the beach, Kanarn. That's my peg for today. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna set my face one by one. So the first one is my under eye. Yeah, parang okay naman yung under eye ko so far. Should I add more concealer? Na okay na yan. Light makeup lang. Light makeup lang sa dami na nilagay kong products. Anyway, so for my under eye, I'm gonna set with a Pat McGrath Labs Blurring Under Eye Powder. This is from 
Sephora, I believe. I ordered it from Sephora as well. Ito talaga, this is something that I have been wanting to invest in, like a good under eye setting powder. I actually found one already that works for me, pero options, options, options! So this one I think is less matte, so that's why I'm going for this today. Over the, the other one that I use is the Makeup Forever setting powder. But this is more of like a for the whole face situation. This one is specifically for the under eye. I don't know why, pero maganda naman siya. As in, nabablur niya talaga yung lines ko so under my eye. I mean, hindi naman sa madami akong lines under my eye. It's just that, you know. I'm turning 28 this year. <laughs> Existential crisis. <laughs> okay, anyway. So now um, I'm gonna set with powder. For my powder, for my cheeks, ganyan. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier setting powder. This is the translucent setting powder. Pero ito yung my glow version. So you guys will see, hindi siya talaga matte finish. As in, it makes you glow. True to its claims, it makes you glow. So I, I put a little bit of powder here and then. Itak tak mo, itak tak mo, itak itak. <laughs> okay, anyway, just patting that. Ayan na mga kita mo agad na it's like glowy as heck. Even if you set it, still glowy, de ba? There you go. Hello po. Gonna. Now that that's done, I am going to use. A blush, a powder blush, just to, just to set again. And to be honest, hindi pa ako masyado experimental sa blushes that I have. I'm still going with a L'Oreal Lip Bar a blush in the shade Play With Me. Play With Me pala to? Okay. Anyway, so it's just like this nice coral shade, which is what I've been going for recently. Parang... Halos sa lahat ng mga makeup get ready with me and makeup videos and get ready with me ko parang laging ito yung gamit ko kasi it's just such a flattering coral shade the sheer din siya enough na hindi masyado nakaka intimidate alam mo yun? it's really good for every day now i wanted to contour sana kaso parang do I want to contour na powder contour? I could, but I'm afraid it'll just mattify my face. So you know what? I'm not going to. Oh my gosh, as somebody with like really, really the round features, I feel like that is such a bold move. Hindi ako magano. Hindi ako magpapa talo sa contour today. So for my brows, it's just gonna be simple. I'm gonna start off with the. With this Benefit brow product, I don't know what it's called, but you know what it is. It's eyebrow gel ata siya. Ewan ko, gamit na gamit na kasi siya sa akin na nawala na yung label niya. Anyway, so I'm just gonna brush up my kakatiting na brows. Again, guys, I am microbladed. So very, very slight lang yung nagagawa nito. <laughs> It really just adds to like the fluffiness of my brows more than anything. Also the, the color in of my brows. Now that that's done, I'm gonna add... So this one from Choo Choo Beauty is their Skinny Brow Pencil. Tapos, ang ganda niya, especially if you wanna mimic like hair-like strokes. Super skinny talaga nung pencil, so hindi mo masyado mahahalata. And madali siya gamitin. If you're not good at, good at using brow products. We're just going for a natural look today. Natural. Yung peg ko today is like, oh, hindi ako nag-effort. Pero sobrang daming products na ginamit ka nun. I really love what the serum looks like, guys. Okay, so let's do eyeshadow. For my eyeshadow, I always prime my eyelids. Just because I want to keep the the look as much as I can. Also, mas madali i blend. So, I'm gonna be using the Eyes on You by Detail Cosmetics, their primer. It's really good. So, I'm just gonna put there sa lid ko and blend that out with my finger. Don't worry if it's like too much. You can just blend it upwards para 
ma-cover lahat. Anyway, you're gonna be using eyeshadow naman to cover it up. So okay, let's start with this larger Squad Cosmetics brush. I'm gonna be using one of the lighter, earthy shades. So this one. Yep, I'm gonna use that one. And then just pack it on all over my lid just to act as a base. If you are a beginner with like brushes and eyeshadow choo-choo, use a bigger brush if you want to spread the color and blend it out. Pero kung gusto mo mas pigmented, you go with the smaller brush. Natutunan ko lang yun sa pageant ulit, as usual. So what do I mean by that? For example, okay, this is a bigger brush. And then if I use something that's smaller, this one, it's gonna be a little more... Um, it's gonna hold on to a lot more product and mas mahikita mo yung difference ng pigment. Okay, so for my sa gitna, as a transition shade, I'm gonna use this one, medyo reddish, ganyan. And then I'm just gonna blend that over the crease. Oh, di ba? Mas pigmented siya. Why don't I use this palette more often? I love it. Medyo, ano lang talaga, nag-fallout siya kind of. Pero, kebs lang. It's kaya naman. Okay, nice! After that, I am going to use another brush to add a little... <laughs> Sabi ko, natural look. Ganyan tayo eh. Magsisimula tayo sa natural look and then it just doesn't happen. <laughs> okay. Para mas natural. Let's go with the reddish brown instead of like the chocolate brown for the outer corner. Yan, maglalagay ako dito. Same with the other side. Okay. Once that's done, I'm gonna blend everything with another brush. Yeah, just to blend it all together. Okay, so we are not going with a natural look. <laughs> Dewy na lang. Earthy na lang. Sultry na lang. I can't decide. Because honestly, I would use this every day. This was, this could be an everyday look for me. I don't care. <laughs> Ayan. Medyo mas diffuse na siya. Pantay ba? I can't see. I don't have contacts on. Sa gitna. Okay, so for our... Topper, I'm just gonna use like a little bit of this shade 703. Lalagay ko lang siya sa lid ko. Can you guys see the difference? I don't know if you can see the difference. I'm just hoping you can see the difference. And then another thing that a lot of people skip is under the eye. So when you're doing eyeshadow, don't forget under the eye. So usually it's like the second shade you make. Tapos, you connect mo lang siya dito. This really ties in the whole eyeshadow look together. There you go. Okay, now, going to mag eyeliner ba ko today is the question. So yes, I wanna do eyeliner, pero... It's just gonna be really, really simple because our look for today is supposedly simple. Pero, you know what happened? Ayin happened! For my eyeliner, I'm just gonna do like a very light cat eye sa gilid. And I'm not even gonna complete it all the way to the end. So this is the L'Oreal Matte Signature Eyeliner. Pwede na yan. <laughs> And then now I'm just gonna curl my lashes using the Paw Lash Curler. And then use the Maybelline Mascara to set it. Okay, there you go. Pero hindi tayo nagtatapos dyan dahil we are gonna use a new um, set of eyelashes. This one is from Mikiwi. Nakuha ko to based on Tony Sia's recommendation. This is just from Shopee. Tapos, 
yung band niya kasi is invisible. So if you want a more natural makeup look, this is a really good one to have. Kung gusto mo skip yung eyeliner, especially since my eyeliner eyeliner is only up to here, I'm gonna use this one. And I'm just gonna sukat according to my eye shape. I'm just gonna trim a little bit sa dulo para kasha sa akin. Dapat pag sinukat nyo, guys, sakto siya sa, ano, sa inyo. Okay, so this one is good. Alright, so nasukat ko na siya. Now, I'm gonna use the Paul Lash Invisible Lash Adhesive. Ito yung, ano, it dries clear and it's really, really good. So, Paul Lash lang sa kalam kahit na ibang lashes ginagamit ko today. Sana mag-release na sila ng invisible lash band because I'm gonna be super excited for that one. Now we're gonna let that get tacky and dry a little bit. Okay, wait, let me finish this off cam. Okay, I'm done with the lashes. I added a little bit of mascara pa. And then now we are going to finally put on lipstick. So, okay, you know what? I'm gonna use Manila as a lip liner. Usually I use Jordan, but I don't know where Jordan is right now. So I'm gonna use that sa gilid. Okay, I overlined. My bad. Okay, bahala na. But anyway, now that the lining is done, we're gonna use scent nudes for my lipstick for today. This is one of our best sellers for a reason. The ba. Mm, it really completes the look. Okay, but more than I before I forget again, Master Chrome by Face Studio Maybelline in the shade Molten Gold to highlight just the high points of my face. Yon. Setting spray, Max Fix Plus. Okay, now babalik ako. I'm just gonna fix my hair and see you guys in a bit. That is it for today's makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below if you have any requests for future videos. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye! Stay confident!